He is sporting a 6-1 record coming into this contest today. This is a very young kid who has a tremendous amount of experience already under his belt. He's long, he's athletic, and he's still growing in the process. Yeah, I'm super excited about this fight right now. Absolutely. Bosco Jr. Both fighters touch him up in the middle. The length advantage certainly goes to David Serrano in this matchup. Yeah, I mean, he he looks huge right now. Whoa. I think that's a super smart move. You see Roscoe moving a lot. Attack those legs if you're Serrano. Don't let him move around like that. Absolutely. You got to slow him down. Stop his feet a little bit. A little trip on his own feet. Yep. Roscoe strong with the jab. Yeah, I like that jab hook combination he's using right now. I'd like to see them set up a right hand like that. Orozco doesn't like those lead leg kicks, though. No, he doesn't. He's really susceptible. He's being really susceptible for them right now. One, he's really susceptible to them, but David Serrano's also drawing big action off of them. Yeah. Ooh. Nice cross. And there's what you want him if you're Orozco. You want to get him pinned down here against the ropes. A strong one-two combination right there from Orozco. The thing with Serrano is, is Serrano can stay tall and he just leans back on that lead leg and he's out of range. Yeah, Just but, right there, you see him drop perfectly. Yeah, but we've hit this a couple times earlier in the card. If I'm Orozco, I'm looking to hit the body a little bit. Since he's leaning back, we want to attack the body and the legs. Hey. Might have a little blood right now running from Serrano's nose. I couldn't tell from that angle. It looked like a little flash. Oh, yep, yep, yep there's a little, little blood, blood there, yeah. Strong left hand right there from Orozco. I mean, Orozco's landing some hard shots when, he can, when he's able to get on the inside. Oh, Beautiful yeah. sweep right there by David Serrano. We saw a bit of mix of dog and technique right there. Yeah, yeah I think I should really like what Orozco's doing. I should want to, I'd like to see him stop with the lateral movement a little bit and just try to press him forward and attack the body. And all great points. He was able to find success with that. We do see that he was able to draw some blood. Yeah. All of those things considered, I do believe that just based off of the diversity of attacks, 
Sweep also in the mix. I think that David Serrano wins that first round. I agree. I think Serrano won that first round. Very close. But I think Orozco started building up to something there in that round, you know. Then he found some stuff, he found some sense or some stuff. And I think if he stays on that, he might be able to find some more success leading up in the fight. Agreed. Agreed. And there's something to be said about momentum. Toward the end of that round, Orozco was starting to build a little bit of momentum. Will he carry that into this second round? We shall see in just seconds. Serrano comes out throwing a couple of hard shots right away to start. One thing about Serrano is he looks like a more confident guy too and he's fighting like it. Nice elbow on the entry there from Serrano. Strong body kick. Knees in the clinch from Serrano. Looks like Orozco's going 1-4. Yeah. And he's finding some success with it. Yeah, he is finding And the hook, too. He's finding some success with the jab hook. Yep, exactly. With the 1-3 yeah. going, yeah. going to the lead four, end. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. See, if I'm Orozco, just keep him here. Keep him here and find the body. The head kick just missed though from yeah, David Serrano and he offers one. up from a very stiff leg kick following that. And again, inside leg kick on the low side from David Serrano. Man, those leg kicks are chewing the last girl. Roscoe hasn't broken eye contact at all though. No. But one thing is, anytime he gets any little bit of momentum, he gets tripped up and then he loses the momentum and has to rebuild it. How much of that is the length discrepancy? You know, it could be some of it, uh, just because he's trying to reach up, so he's getting a little bit tall. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't know that it is. I think it's more about his stance in general. Beautiful high kick right there yeah, from David nice. Serrano. Aaron Latruga keeping a close look on the action right now, but Serrano is oh, yeah. kind of chasing a little bit as opposed to cutting him off. I would like to see him cut the cage, cut yeah. the ring off. And again, I would like to see Roscoe go to that body, man. He's headhunting a little too much for my liking. Man, I don't know who won that round. That was pretty close. Incredibly violent second round right there. Was really close. I would like to say that I think Serrano edged him out just a little bit, especially that high kick landing. Again, if we're talking about the criteria with kicks and, and trips. Yeah, the trips taken in, yeah. you know, that is true, yeah. Again, though, I am glad that I am not the one who needs to evaluate the scoring on this fight. Yeah, 100%. There's a close fight right now, man. I like what I'm seeing from both guys. If there is a strong case that Orozco got that second round. Yeah, I think there's a strong case there. Yeah. The optics of it, though, Rafa, aren't the greatest when, he's, when he kind of swings out of his shoes a little bit and slips and ends up on the canvas. Even if he's not getting put down from Serrano, just the fact that you're having to get up off of the canvas... It doesn't look good. Yet. It doesn't look good. And it wears on you, too. As the fighter, it wears on you to have to get back up from the floor and get back up and get back up. You know? And he did have to get on his bike a couple of times yeah. where Serrano chased him rather, rather than cutting him off, as we mentioned. Yeah. So I think all those things weighed in. You know, I, I would give the advantage to David Serrano. Man, those leg kicks are just chewing him up. But it's not to say that Orozco can't score the knockout with his punches up top because he's found a home for that hook many yeah, times. he has. Yeah, he really has. And he's making David Serrano walk through the fire. Oi! Man, he's throwing heat in that head kick. And I think this is going to be something for both guys. They, they're both having to have a tremendous test where they're going into deep waters for this fight. Yeah. This is something that each of them will grow exponentially from. 100%, yeah. And man, Orozco needs to start checking these kicks. He can't keep letting these, kick, these leg kicks go. Agreed. But again, though, right now, David is just kind of following and chasing him as opposed yeah. to working angles. Oh, yeah. Cut him off. That hook yeah, was huge. That was nice, yeah. Yeah, but you're making a great point there, man. He just keeps chasing, keeps chasing. And that's why he's getting hit sometimes in that chase, you know? Right, exactly. Especially with as long as he is, if he were to sit a little bit lower and just use his wingspan, he can cut off so yeah. much of this movement from Orozco. Or even just not try to kill him with every kick, but just use the kicks to settle the lateral movement, you know? Agreed. 
Man, this is a great fight. Certainly. I mean, our matchmakers here at Colorado Comp, or excuse me, at 5280 TIE Fight Series did an exemplary job of putting together this card today. We have had competitive action from start to finish. Yeah, and it's great that they're flying these guys out from out of state too, man. That just helps our scene so much more. Certainly. Yeah, both guys standing in the pocket right now, both connecting on two stiff right hands to each other's face. Got 10 seconds left, short time right now. We're gonna see a little bit of a flurry from each guy going for broke. There's that body work. What a fight, what a fight. What a fight, ladies and gentlemen. As we await for these scores to be tallied in the third and final round of our main event today. With the belt on the line, Rafa. Who did you think did enough to get their hand raised today? Uh, I don't know. I mean, so far, I think Roscoe might have won that third round. I think Serrano might be up too, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, excuse me, folks. We are going out right now. Five rounds. That, that's my mistake. Tied a fight. Tied a fight. Tied a fight. <laughs> Yeah, but I think Serrano might be out too. I think Orozco might, might have one in the pocket. Again, that second round was pretty close. Uh, we'll see where the, the rest of the fight takes us. I do think Orozco's getting some good momentum going right now, though. I would agree that there has been small shifts in the momentum for him, but I think that you mentioned it before, Whoa. though. Once, anytime he starts to get a little bit of momentum, he just gets ripped to the lower body, and it seems to send him on his bike for a few seconds. Yeah. And it's that much tougher for him to mount his offense every time thereafter. Yeah, 100%. One thing that I haven't really seen these guys throw is elbows. Especially if I'm a Roscoe, I would like to see him throw some of those elbows with his hands. Agreed. I think we've seen two from David Serrano in that first man, round. Those and side kicks, it. I mean, he needs to start checking those side kicks, man. That's great body work right there, though, from um, David Serrano. Oh. Is that low? Is that low? Ah, uh, tough. Yeah, I didn't really see it from this angle. I mean, right in front of us, I don't, I mean, it, it, was, it was in the ballpark. Yeah, I yeah, could hear and yeah. say that he's Kamaru Usmaning it right now, yeah. but. <laughs> in the ballpark. Yeah, I was in the ballpark. Yeah, I was in the ballpark. And sometimes in real time, it's tough to see when it's especially just a glancing blow. Yeah. And we're back underway. Boy, those kicks are heavy. See, and that's what I would like him to do. He's kicking a lot to the legs and to the head. I'd like to see him keep, stay on those body kicks. I think those are huge for him. Agreed. But he overextended and overcommitted a bit with that right hand right yeah. there. David Serrano did, and he was cracked back hard by Orozco. Yeah, yeah. And that's the thing. I just feel like Orozco's landing the harder strikes right now. Boy. Agreed. But then you see those situations like that, and you see really the full skill set at play from a young David Serrano. Yeah, yeah. He, I mean, he's doing. I mean, he's doing fantastic. They're both doing great. If we're talking about the strict, the hands, the boxing department, yeah, I'm going to give the advantage right now to Henry Orozco Jr. But in totality, I think we're seeing the deeper range of attacks coming from David Serrano. Yeah, I mean the trips, like that. Oh, that was beautiful. Beautiful. That was beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, the trips, the kicks, all Roscoe's really offering is the hands. And again, in my type, that's what counts the least. And they both kind of stuck each other right there. David Serrano oh, yeah. goes for the kill shot right there with the oh, yeah. kick. Oh! Strong right hand there from David Serrano. Oh, that was a little bit weird. End of the round right there. Tough to hear sometimes with the crowd roaring as it is, and we yeah. we don't have a loud bell in here, folks, especially with us underneath the headset. Yeah. We are so enthralled with the hostilities that are going on inside of the squared circle. They're like, oh, wait, did they call an eight second, or is that the end of the round? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's been hard to hear. Uh, that being said, I think Serrano won that round pretty handily. And now I'd like to see him chase that finish right now. Try to make a statement, but right? it's been a pretty close fight. I think Serrano's up. I'd like to see him make a statement and try to get that finish. Agreed. Put a stamp on it. Don't leave it up for a question. Yeah. 
as the great Burt Watson always said, never leave it in the hands of the judges. Never, never. They will break your heart. Manti's your send to Dunbar, you know. <laughs> I totally agree. I, I mean, hey, I'm of the belief that if you have three people who are appointed and paid, they should be able to do a competent job. Yeah, yeah. But as we see throughout example after mean. example in combat sports, whether it's MMA, kickboxing, boxing, whatever, we always have some questionable situations. Always, always, yeah. It never, it never turns out how you want it. Um, David Serrano has a sense of urgency right finish. now. Though. Yeah, chasing that finish. I love it. Man, I'd like to see him go with like a one-two head kick. I think that'd be money for him right now. Because like that's the thing. Anytime he's thrown the head kick, he's just thrown it naked. He's never thrown it behind his hands. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, there it was. Oy. Stiff jab right there from David Serrano right to the chin of Henry Orozco Jr. Orozco returns the jab. Oi. Man, Orozco's leg is going to be hurting tomorrow. Oh, certainly. Dude, he's good at that. He is really good at that. That was nice. So good at that trip right there. I mean, that long limb just coming through and scooping the leg out. It, it, it's tough to stop, especially when he creates that angle. Yeah, 100%. Uh, and I love that combination that David Serrano just threw, entering, coming in down low at the body, and then finishing up top. Yeah, that, that's beautiful. That's what you want to see in a title fight like this. And now we're seeing a little bit more of the war of attrition right now. Both guys are tired. It's time to dig deep into the tank and see who has more to close out this final frame. We have 30 seconds left in this round. Who is going to push the pace? Great body shot right there by Henry Ross. It's too late though. He should have been looking for that earlier. Could not agree with you more. And you like seeing Serrano oh, yeah. push the pace at the very end right now as yeah. it's at that short time class. Yeah, I love it. You can tell he's tired, but he's still trying to win. Heart. Heart. Yeah, heart. Great, but I think Serrano probably makes it. Unanimous decision. And still champion. Yeah. The champion.